Hey, this is Robert. This is a 2017 Ford Transit 250. Um, it's got the ambulance package in it, so the wiring is different uh, from the standard one. So this only applies to uh, Ford Transit. This particular one's a 2017. Uh, and uh, again, with the uh, ambulance package in it, uh, which I think is the same as like the school package and the uh, RV package, but specific to ambulance package, you come down here and you get these upfitter switches right here, right? And when the van is on, they'll light up, right? And, oh, uh, suppose there we go. Okay, so they'll light up, but they don't really do anything yet, right? This is really frustrating. So we wanted to hook it up and it was a real pain in the butt and we wanted to show you how that worked. All right, underneath the glove box, which is folded down here, okay, and I pulled off all this other crap just to get it out of the way so we can see, there's like this 43-pin connector, this massive connector that's got this white clamp on it. Now, the trick is it actually comes with this cap, which has got a couple of jumper wires in it, so this cap is already on there. You have to open up that thing, remove it. Hold on, let me open this baby up here. This is 43-pin connector, and this just goes on and on and on so there's all these different circuits right and that's for setting up your ambulance but we're using them for uh the uh the switches and switch is it two and three no one and two switch one and two go through this harness okay and that's the yellow wire on the end and the brown wire so you can hook up whatever the heck you want to and then it's going through the fuse box and the relays and voila all that stuff's going to work of a cam deal all right and then the other harness that you get in the plastic bag there's a plastic bag that's got all this wiring harness junk in it is this other six pin harness it's got four coming out of it right and these this the blue and orange one is switch number three and the yellow one is switch number four the trick on these two circuits number three will work when the key is on, number four here only works when the engine is running. That's when that circuit closes. The two black ones are just grounds. You can use them for whatever, or you can just chassis ground or whatever. So that's this harness, and that plugs in up underneath here. If you do not have the ambulance package, there is like a four plug. Where, where did I, I blew 25 bucks on this freaking thing. Somebody at Ford owes me a martini. So this deal here, for the standard one, there's like a deal underneath the driver's seat. Now there is a thing underneath the driver's seat that we're gonna get into on this particular ambulance setup, but you do not need this stupid thing. All your stuff comes in that big plastic bag with all that wiring and you're like, what the heck is this? Well, that's what it's for. All right, now I am behind the driver's seat because this is the thing that frustrated us the most, right? So we got power to switch one and two, no problem, just plugging in the harness, everything worked. We're gonna hook up high idle switch and I don't know, a disco ball or something like that to the other one, who cares, right? So that's what's gonna go on the other one, but the problem was we weren't getting any power to the big ones. The relays were clicking, everything was working, the switch lights were going on and off, and we thought, holy crap, it's not getting power. So Ford's documentation is crap, it's really hard Hard to figure out if you're not like unlocked in their system there's this little panel I got the cover half off these these three bolts here these three bolts come out of the positive on the battery okay and they are 60 amp circuits so this one here is not plugged in obviously and this one has a couple of nuts with wires where do you where do they come from you say where would they possibly come from where would you find those wires? Where well, they're freaking buried underneath the carpet, underneath the driver's seat. You gotta dig it all out underneath there, and they're underneath there, and then you finally find them, and you plug them in, and guess what? Everything works the way it's supposed to. So that's the ticket. Gotta get underneath the seat, underneath the carpet, directly behind the driver's pedestal. I got all this crap in the way already, so that was already not fun. Once we had that, I could freaking go to sleep. So there. That's how you hook up those four switches when you got the ambulance package on a 2017 Ford Transit full-size van. I don't think it matters what size box it is. Ambulance package, I think there's the RV package and the school package or I don't know, whatever. But those ones that give you the bigger alternator, double batteries underneath the seat, lower gear drive ratio on the rear end, all that kind of stuff you want when you're building out your van, but the frustration comes in trying to figure out all this freaking wiring it sucks. Hopefully that helps you out.